I'm a perfectionist, but not the high achiever type of perfectionist. More like the why starting if I know I'm going to fail kind of perfectionist. But then I thought of something. By definition, perfectionism is a personality trait characterized by expectations and standards. But is it all? Having high expectations and standards per se is not too bad of a thing. But if those are not that bad, why we have them in the first place and why they are stopping us from doing things we would like to do? The answer is in the unrealistic outcome we expect from practicing high standards. But here's something that could help you as much as is helping me. Unfortunately, procrastination is a consequence of perfectionism, as it is overthinking as well. We can't get started on something because we think or better we overthink at all the steps and processes we need in order to get to that final perfect results without even starting to consider that uh, this also creates the feeling of getting tired like if we already actually did the thing we were set to do that there is no point in starting in the first place kind of like if it's going to be like doing the same things twice and we feel there is also no point in starting if our plan it's not perfect. But since there is no such thing as a perfect plan, as we can't predict the future, then we end up procrastinating. First of all, it's important to understand that even if we think we could potentially control the outcome of our actions by figuring out all the steps, kind of like a puzzle, we can't actually realistically calculate and imagine future events or people reactions. It's just not possible as those are outside of our control. And even if our work ends up being perfect, which is going still to be impossible, there is not even 1% chance that it's going to be even remotely close to our idea of it. Simply because there are no limits to the imagination, but there are plenty of limits to the tangible world. And also it still won't mean it will end up in galleries, museums, people will love it and accept it and appreciate it. Because your result is always going to be a very little part in the equation for the success of your work. And for one element you can control, which is actually putting in the work, there are hundreds of our parts that need to fit in. Parts you can't have any idea of their existence if you have never encountered them. Unfortunately, one of the most powerful enhancements of perfectionism in our era is social media. For me, it's very good at showing us down there, sitting below, around level one, how people are succeeding at something up here. Through conveniently erasing the path in the middle and the obstacles along the journey to lead them to become that success. No one becomes a success overnight, right? We are pushed content daily by the few people that made it to the top, though unaware of the hundreds others surrounding them. When we compare their successful stories to our own and we feel inspired and wanting to uh, realize the same outcome for ourselves, we are only left with one little part of the full pictures. We know how the finish line look like, but we have no way to compare the journey to our own. Without a line of comparison, we inevitably end up thinking that we shouldn't probably be struggling that much, or probably we shouldn't be making as many mistakes as we are, and definitely shouldn't take us this long to reach the same level. And we might end up thinking that probably the finish line is just unachievable because we are not good enough, or we are unlucky, and so on, right? Well, what can we do about it? Have you ever heard of the 10,000 hours rule? It states that to become a master in a discipline, you should invest 10,000 hours of practice. But that's achievable only if you've heard another famous sentence. Done is better than perfect. But what does it mean? Quality eventually is what ends up selling the most and for the highest price. That's true. But despite the common thought that if we put more hours in our drawing or painting, our result will be better, the truth is that the final result will only marginally be better. Let's say between probably 1 to 3%. And why is that? Because quality is not directly proportionate to the time invested in an artwork. It is connected to knowledge. Knowledge comes from learning. Learning comes from making mistakes. Which basically means, the greater the number of mistakes, the more the knowledge, the better the quality of our artwork. The real question to make better art is, how do I make more mistakes 
and as quicker as possible? And the answer is quantity. So spending less time to improve paintings and reinvesting the time to start a new one will in turn give us less need to spend time to perfect the painting in the first place and a lot of time saved as future artists. Sorry, that was probably a bit of an overly articulated message, but simply put, something mindfully done over and over eventually leads to perfection. Same goal we try to achieve with our perfectionism. But at least this is driven by practical results and not by an achievable fantasy. We need to learn to enjoy the journey and step on the right road towards our goals. A road that is paved with mistakes, so we better put on our trekking shoes and start walking. Anyway, if you still feel like procrastinating, don't worry, in this next video I talk about some actionable tips that could help. See you!